So let's graph this equation here. We have y equals 1.25x. And the way we'll do this, we use a table of values. We'll put a value in for x here, and then we'll figure out the value for y. And that point, we'll graph it, and we'll have our graph. So let's start out. Let's say x is 0. That's a good place to start because 1.25 times 0, that's just 0. I could say x is 1, but I think I'm going to say x is 2 because 1.25 times 2, that'll give me 2.5. That might be a little bit easier to graph. And then how about we say negative 2? Negative 2 for x times 1.25, that's negative 2.5. So these are the points that we'll graph for the equation y equals 1.25x. So we have 0, 0, that's right here at the origin. We have 2, 2.5, so we go over 2 and up 2.5. And then we have negative 2 for x and negative 2.5 for y. And there you can see that's our line. Let's put a line through it. And then we could put arrows to show it goes to infinity. And this is the graph for y equals 1.25x. We could have used any values for x, put those in and get a value for y. And that point, that would be on the line here. I just chose these, kind of give me some rounder numbers, and fits on our graph. You could also use slope-intercept formula to find the graph for y equals 1.25x. There's a link at the end of this video if you need help. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.